My name is Barbara Block. I'm the PI of the Voyage to the White Shark Cafe. As apex predators, white sharks are fundamental to the health of oceanic ecosystems, which makes them very important for all of us. During the White Shark Voyage, we will visit the White Shark Cafe, an open ocean region halfway between Hawaii and Baja, where we know adult white sharks congregate. We don't know, however, why they come here. Our mission is to analyze this unique location from every angle in order to decipher how this system works and why the white sharks leave the productive North American coast and migrate all the way here to the middle of the ocean. It all starts with the satellite and acoustic tags that we've attached to sharks back in the California coast last fall and this winter. Satellite tags have been programmed to pop up at set dates and transmit information as soon as they hit the surface. Their precise location will guide our voyage. The tags have also been recording light, depth, and temperature every second. On top of that, we are also using acoustic tags, which are constantly emitting pings with information, which is why many of our instruments are equipped with acoustic receivers. Our Slocum glider is one of the instruments that will detect white sharks. And we're gonna put it in the ocean, and its role is to listen for white sharks that emit pings, and take oceanographic profiles down to 400 meters every six hours. We're very excited to work with two sail drones, which have been out here already for almost a month. They have the capacity to transmit oceanographic data live while covering vast stretches of the ocean. The sail drones are also scanning to depth with their echo sounder and acoustic receivers detecting the scattering layers that will be teeming with life that we're very specifically trying to target with our DNA technology, ROV, and nets. We're also able with both sail drones to listen for the acoustic pings from our acoustic tags. CTD casts measure temperature, salinity, chlorophyll, oxygen, and light. They also collect water samples that we filter to identify environmental DNA. This is an amazing technique that allows us to pick up the DNA signature that different animals have left behind while using these waters. Most exciting is we're doing live sequencing on board this ship, so we can know when we have white sharks swimming right beneath the vessel. There's a lot we can learn from these direct observations, and that's where ROV Sebastian comes in with its powerful cameras and lights, which will scan the mesopelagic zone between 200 and a thousand meters of depth, broadcasting to us live pictures of what's in the waters beneath the ship. We will also have eyes in shallower waters. We will deploy two lines of baited cameras, which will film different animals that come to potentially feed or smell these baits. This system we call a brub. It could also be defined as a camera trap and it's intended to help us ecologically identify what large predators are here. But that's not all. We also collect animal samples from the scattering layer through net toads, a traditional technique in which we put the nets down at a fixed depth, tow for a period of time, and then bring the nets back to the surface and analyze what we've collected. These findings will be complemented with tissue analysis in order to identify what the animals are, how many of them are here, and how long they've been in these waters using isotopic trace analysis. As you can see, we have a lot to do. The White Shark Voyage is not a biological expedition. It is an oceanographic one. We're here to study the ocean environment that these magnificent creatures use in order to learn more about them.